Isabel, what a lovely surprise. Are you recording this? Hmm? No, oh, yes. I record everything I do. Never know when an unexpected breakthrough will happen. How are you? Terrible. I've been tasked with archiving the genetic memories from Project Legacy. Well, it's a shame how that ended, but I'm glad to see the data isn't going to waste. It's a waste of my time and talent, just as your current assignment is a waste of yours. Ah, work is work. Despite the setbacks in Denver, the eye of Stergo satellite is a very interesting... Fiddick had his chance, and he's blown it. They'll never find a new apple in time for launch. The Animus Project is dead in the water. Meanwhile, you and I are members of the Inner Sanctum, and we're being treated like sodding interns. But what if we could give Mr. Rickon a new working piece of Eden? I'm listening. Don't listen. Look. Look at this. P.E. number 66? Where did it come from? The Project Legacy data revealed that the company acquired it in the 40s. I want you to help me get it working again. This fabric, it's very fragile. But there's technology in it. You study the shroud. Find out anything you can about its original purpose and methods of use. I'll cross-reference the genetic memories from Project Legacy against my archive. With any luck, I can locate more people who came into contact with it. Together, we can unlock the artifact's secrets. I get to play with an artifact and take Vidic down a peg? How can I refuse? You called me all the way to Paris for this madness? Listen, it's been months and we are no closer to get the Shroud to work. The microscopic technology in its fibers is similar to what we found in other pieces of Eden. An alloy we've dubbed Pathoritka. This alloy seems to react specifically to thought, but the artifact itself remains inert. That's still no reason for this course of action. What if the Shroud doesn't save you? Do you know just how much of Abstergo's money we've embezzled into our sacred project here? Because I'm sure Mr. Rickin noticed by now. And if we have nothing to show for it, so I'm going to wrap myself in the shroud. And you're going to do what needs to be done. One way or another, our current dilemma will be resolved. Fine. <laughs> oh, shit. <gasps> I am conscious. The erudite god. I'm not happy about this at all. Why must you always shoot yourself in the head to summon the Precursor Consciousness? Because it works! I tried slitting my wrists, nothing. I tried overdosing on pills. I had to get my stomach pumped. It was all very unpleasant. It has to be a major wound for the artifact to activate. The risk is unacceptable. Without you, there's no future technology division. So I brought you a qualified volunteer. I'm Agent Viola da Costa. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Ah, is it? I tried to recruit you once, and you turned me down for Sigma Team. Uh, I thought I could do more good in the field. Horseshit! A dazzling brain like yours is going to waste. Agent Acosta is assigned to you for six months. Make the most of it. Then let's get started. Rub yourself in the artifact, uh, please. I know how to summon the Precursor, but I've never been able to communicate with him. This is going to be an interrogation. Bingo! If it's all the same to you, I'm going to leave before the mess. Ness? What did she mean by... I am conscious, the erudite god. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, hello. I want to know more about you. D tell me, did you create the shroud? When I was flesh, I apprenticed with Hephaestus, a maker. The war of unification raged. We created devastating swords to end it. But then... I suspected that it might have been a tool to treat casualties of war. How does the Shroud heal such terrible damage? The body is a construct. A machine. Blueprints stored within. Shrouds access these recovery centers. Repairs damage to specifications. <laughs> a factory reset. Wait. Shrouds? There's more than this one? This? Is the original, my prototype, created in the year 1923 
of the Isu era. Isu era? I have so many questions, uh, uh, but let's stick with you. How is it that your mind resides in this artifact? I was old. I wanted more time. Bodies, constructs, minds are programmed. Uploaded my program into the shroud. To cheat death. Succeeded. Generations? How long have you been? The damage is repaired. Rest now. <gasps> that was indescribable. When can we do it again? How about now? You look distracted. We were supposed to launch the Iabstergo satellite today. Uh, what might have been. So? Here we are, our final session together. Huh. I'm not gonna miss getting shot in the face, but... Yes? Having Consus in my head is the craziest fucking thing. But it's also... soothing somehow. Is it weird that I'm gonna miss that? i let you in on a secret. I talk to him when no one else is around. I know what you mean. Well, let's say our goodbyes and get you on your way. Violet is leaving us today, Conscious. Everything is impermanent. Jason, Giovanni Borgia, William Woodman, here then gone. I simply thought you might like to say goodbye. It is good to talk again, to brush up against another mind, even simple ones such as yours. I'll choose to ignore that. You are marvelous creations. Exceeded your programming. Made something from nothing. Flawed but bold. I approve. What the hell? The current temple is open. She lies in wait no longer. She is free. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I play mine. Minerva has failed. All is lost. What was that? Answer me! The damage is repaired. Rest now. <sighs> what the hell was that? I put enough tranquilizers in Grammatica's coffee to knock out a whale. Good. You will be back in Montreal as soon as we're done here. So the only question is, who's getting shot in the face? Of course. Okay, let's do this. Master Berg! Explain yourself! How the fuck are you up and about? Please. I shit better drugs than whatever wick do you spiked me with. I take it this isn't an official Sigma Day mission? Juno has an entire cult of worshippers under her thrall. The Inner Sanctum may not see a threat. I do. Sigma team's been disbanded. You've both been reassigned to the Phoenix Project, and yet here you are. Defying orders by breaking into my facility and trying to interrogate the Precursor. I know I liked you for a reason, Berg. Proceed. Thank you. I am Consus, the erudite god. Tell me everything you know about the one called Juno. Juno, the schemer, three centuries after my death, she found me, usurped my work, used it for her own ends. He who is the image of Aita, he will herald her return. Juno wants to exterminate us. Perhaps once, your uprising was an affront. 
But after the catastrophe, everything changed. Explain. I cannot. She vanished. Plan set in motion. She lay in wait. Then hypothesize. What does she want? Hypothesis irrelevant. Civilizations crumble. Flesh decays. Everything is impermanent. Except the gray area inside of systems. The connections. Precursor our minds are powerful. If Juno is inside of a network, she could control it. And the planet grows more networked every day. You are right to be concerned. This merits further study. What's up, Doc? Love the new workspace. Violet! What a lovely surprise! Can't stay. I'm just here with a special delivery. Oh. Oh, you did it. Oh, yes, I did. This is the dear departed John Standish, the sage? Consider it a thank you gift for Mr. Berg. But we have a request. I can't bring him back to life. The shroud doesn't work that way. We know the primary goal of the Phoenix Project is to sequence precursor DNA, reverse engineer artifacts and all that good shit, but we want you to make something for us. A body. Even with this sage, a viable clone is still decades away. Then the sooner we get started, the better. Can it be done? I don't know. But I can't wait to find out! I tell you, Consus, between the Standish sample and the recovered blood vials from Bartholomew Robert's stash, we're pulling incredible data. The promotions are nice, the work is amazing, but there's so much managerial bullshit to deal with now. It's enough to make me miss the days when all I had to do was get shot in the face. Dr. Grammatica, can you hear me? Violet! What the- Shut up, no time. There's a team of assassins on your doorstep. But my clones! The Shroud! I've dispatched Sigma Team, but they're going to be too late. Get out of there, double time! Galena, can you keep them off my back, please? I'm trying to steal their data before the servers go up in flames. Templar, jump! Ah! Nice to see you having fun. Hello, we're here to destroy your abominable samples, and... Wait, are you wearing a blanket? Is it fireproof? No, wait! That's the... Oh! Ah! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Gavin's waiting. We go. I am damage repaired rest. <gasps> Goodbye, Consus. Thank you. The Paris facility was completely destroyed, along with our best samples. All that work, lost forever. With that in mind, these are notes towards increased efforts in locating new precursor samples. I want to merge industry and entertainment in the hearts and minds of the public. Every product and service Abstergo offers should be sending user data to Helix for us to look through. That would be a tough sell to a public who's already scared of Big Brother. So we will sell them on Big Mother. Nobody likes it when the government snoops on our social media. But everyone's wearing an Abstergo body band fitness monitor. What about uh, an Abstergo stenographer? We take a sample from the plaintiff and defendant and then relive the case to the animals. Yes, that's what I want. I'll ask Mr. Ricken to lean on the Justice Department to get samples from the prison population as well. Laetitia has authorized a series of Abstergo clinics we're going to open them in cities around the world. Abstergo Healthcare. Imagine being adopted and finding out who your birth parents are, along with your entire medical history in minutes. Under Melanie Lamesse, watch Abstergo Entertainment has more users than ever. That's great, but that's still a pretty small user base. But we need to expand our demographics. 
not a lot of virtual feature enthusiasts in the octogenarian set. So let's make products that appeal to them. I want to create a digital wake where people can show the loved ones they leave behind their best memories together. From the Angelus baby monitor to a virtual funeral, I want everyone on this planet to be connected to Helix. Then we can, uh, we can, ah, oh, damn it. What's the use? It's over. I'm finished. Hello, Elvira. What the hell do you want? Don't look so glum. Let me tell you what I've been working on lately. We sent Berg to India last year to chase a lead involving Koh Noor. It was a dead end. But we did manage to find some data on an assassin from the 1800s. Arbaz Mir. And? And? While that's all very interesting, when we looked further into his genetic line, we found this. Arbaz Mir's son was in London, so what? Look closer. Blah, blah. Assumed name Henry Green. Blah, blah. CMC and the assassins were searching for... Oh, my God. You found another one. My teams are working outward from this sample. We've scoured Helix and tracked down a set of memories from the Grand Master of the British Rite, Crawford Sterrick. We're also looking for data on other assassins of the era. Don't you have anyone searching for the new shroud? No one yet. You want to call in Berg? As soon as humanly possible! Isabel, what brings you here? I came to gloat, actually. Look at this data. A sage! It gets better. Check his patrilineal line. Let's see. Patrilineal line. 19th century American Midwest. 18th century American Revolution. 16th century Ottoman Empire. 15th century Italian Renaissance. Oh my god. You don't mean... Yeah. The best part? His mother just walked him into one of your new clinics in New York City. Oh, I'd really like to strip him for parts like we did with Subject 17. Oh, no, you don't. You had your chance with the Shroud. This asset is mine, and I won't be a party to the needless mutilation of a ten-year-old boy. It's inhumane. So what do you plan to do with him? Given his unique lineage, I think we should put him into an animus for the next 50 years. Think of the data we could extract. That's terribly old-fashioned. In any case, we should send Sigma team to recover him. No. I'm going to keep an eye on him for now. We'll collect him when the time is right.